this video, we'll be discussing finding the equation of a plane using three points. A plane can be defined by one of the following methods. A line and a point not on the line. Three non-collinear points, namely three points not on a line. A point and a normal vector. Two intersecting lines or two parallel and non-coincident lines. In this video, we'll be discussing the case of having three non-collinear points. The Cartesian equation of a plane is a times x plus b times y plus c times z plus d is equal to zero, where a, b, c is the nor vector normal to the plane. Now, before we get into defining how this works and stepping through the problem, let me show you down below here where we have an example. So in this case, we are given three points, point a, point b, and point c. In the plot over here, we can see the three points in green, red, and blue, corresponding to each one of the points here. And if we wanted to, we can also show the normal vector. It's the purple vector, which pops in there. And what we can do now is we can move these around. So we can kind of see how moving point A here, or moving the X coordinate of that point, or moving the Z coordinate here, or moving point XB, YB, ZB, here we'll have point C, and so on. And what we can see is we can basically shift this around and as well, you'll see up above that the actual expression here for uh, the plane is going to be shifting as we are moving these values around for the points A, B, and C. So these are, this is a great tool for walking through. You can kind of see how moving these points around will in fact affect and change the plane itself. But if you're curious on how we're actually calculating this, I'll step through that now. So say we have three points, A, B, and C, that can define two distinct vectors, A and a, B, and A, C. Since the two vectors lie in a plane, their cross product can be used as a normal to the plane. So our steps are, A, we determine the vectors, B, find the cross product of the two vectors, and C, substitute one point into their Cartesian equation to solve for D. So let's step through this. So let's find the equation of a plane that passes through the points A, B, and C, which are defined as follows. So to begin with, let's determine the vectors. So we determine the vector AB using the following expression. So we do XB minus XA. We multiply that by this I hat. And then we do plus YB minus YA times J hat plus ZB minus ZA times K hat. So sub just all we do is we walk through. We just substitute in some values here. So we take here the XB, so minus 1, and we minus from that XA. So we end up with minus 2i, and then we do 1 minus 1j, so we have 0j, and then we do minus k. So this is our first vector here, ab is equal to minus 2i hat minus k hat. All right, we'll find ac in a similar uh, way. So we substitute in values here, and we end up with ac being equal to i hat minus j hat plus 2k. All right, so next what we do is we define the normal vector. So what we'll do is we'll just put this into a, kind of a matrix constructor here. So we have here the values for i hat, j hat, and k hat. And we'll just read off the values here. So we just do minus 2, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1, and 2. So the next thing we do is, and this is actually, we're just kind of skipping a step here, but we're going to go through and we're going to look at the j component here, so or the i component. So we'll look at i. What we'll do is we kind of imagine kind of crossing out these two values and just taking this little submatrix here of values, so 0, 2, minus 1, 1. And we just go through and we find the determinant here. So we get, you know, 0 minus minus 1 times minus 1, so we go minus 1, and then we go j, so we're going to go minus j, and we're going to look at these ones here, so minus 4, and that's minus plus 1 here we end up with. So we get 3, and then we minus 3, and we do here plus 3. I'll do k hat, looking at these values here. 2 minus 0 is just plus 2k. So we've kind of gone through, we've skipped a step here. If you go to any one of your textbooks, you'll see this in, in, full, uh, in full detail. But we end up with this expression here for the cross product of AB times AC. So plugging this back in, then we kind of end up with this, the equation of the plane is going to be minus x plus 3y plus 2z plus d is equal to 0. So now what we need to do is we need to determine d. So we'll just go through, we'll just substitute in values here for x, y, and z using any one of the points we have above. So if we say substitute in 1, 1, 1, we'll see that we get minus 1, 
plus 3 plus 2, so that equals 4, plus d is equal to 0, and then if we just move things around, we'll end up with d is equal to minus 4, and therefore the equation of the plane is going to be equal to minus x plus 3y plus 2z minus 4 is equal to 0. So that's the ending expression here. We've kind of stepped through this problem. But again, if you kind of want to just explore this, you want to play around and see how some of these points look, you can just go back into the app here, and you can move things around, and you can set up the same system as we would have above, just using the controls here. So you just go minus 1, 1, 0, and the last point was 2, 0, 3, and we end up with the same expression here as we had above. So it's an interactive control that lets you actually specify your points and visualize this and then kind of move around in order to see the result.